Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video. I'm your photo editing help and just a warning, this photo is going to look kind of weird, kind of edited, kind of liquefied. Uh, liquefied is a tool in Photoscape X that allows you to greatly alter the look and the shape of objects in your photos. And the way you get to liquefy is you're in your editor, you go over to tools, you find liquefy, you click on that. That's where you're able to make all these changes. Let me show you what the original photo looked like. That's what the original photo looked like here. And actually, I'm going to need to go back all the way to the original to get to where I look normal. So I took this photo so you guys could see the differences that you can make. Let me just uh, undo all of these and we will try to, try to recreate some of them, look at a few other photos where you can use this. So basically in Liquify, you, you're able to bloat an object, you're able to pucker an object, twirl it, uh, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. You're also able to uh, forward warp and you're able to reconstruct. Now, you're also able to make these brush sizes, whatever you want, and you're able to make the speed of which that change is taking effect uh, faster or slower, so you're able to have more control over it, or you're able to get that edit done quickly. So, let's begin with the eyes. So, you can uh, click on bloat, and what you're able to do is just select whatever you're wanting. So, in this case, it's like the entire eye. Um, and just remember that anything in this selective circle is going to be bloated uh, and the software is doing its best job to not let it look super like pixelated trying to make it look pretty good so I'm going to uh, begin this so we click it and it's blo making the eye look much larger and more round and we can do it on the other one as well and for some animals, for some different people, maybe that looks interesting, maybe it looks really cool, but it's not the fact that, oh, you can make this really like funny or weird looking photo. It's so you can learn these different tools and you're able to use them to make the kind of photos that you want. You're able to do a uh, pucker, which would be to make something smaller. So let's say, you know, a lot of times people told me I had big ears growing up, so maybe I'm going to shrink my ears. Uh, and make them look a whole lot smaller. Uh, it's interesting to see this like shrinking away of the different objects that are in your photo. Uh, so there it is, my ears are now much smaller. We can go to the compare to see what it looked like before, before and after. So the ears are a bit smaller, the eyes are of course way bigger. You're able to zoom in and do something like uh, editing just like one tooth and making that one tooth much larger and it's interesting to see just what does it look like when some of these edits are made and some of them make it look like yeah if I didn't know better maybe my uh, my bite isn't that good I need to go see my orthodontist uh, you're also able to do twirl which is kind of interesting it's kind of a creative way of doing something so let's go over here uh, and we're going to twirl all these different colors and you rotate it and it ends up doing this kind of swirl pattern using the colors that uh, was in the image originally and it can make some you can make some pretty interesting looking uh, designs interesting shapes and for s images that are sometimes seen very small it's actually pretty neat to see some of these little changes you can make in that could catch someone's eye and be like wait what's that so those are some of the different tools of course there's also the uh, forward warp and what you're able to do is you're able to actually go in and let's say I thought my cheeks were like really weird or something I can pull all of that in and I'm gonna do it kind of dramatically so you guys can see just like how much you're able to do and you're also able to pull it out of course and do it uh, both directions so the thing is if there was a time where something looked bloated or something just didn't look the best and 
it's so interesting to make it look like, wait, I can make myself look like super obese, you're like really skinny, all this different stuff. And it's interesting to see uh, just how much control you have over these different images and what you can do to make yourself look totally different. So this tool is, in my opinion, something that's really creative uh, and it's also very uh, unique and it's able to give you a lot of control over manipulating your photo besides just like oh giving it a little bit more color or things like that and it's also not just like oh removing a uh, speck here or removing a tree there this is something where you're able to actually make your photo look dramas uh, uh, dramatically different so let's take a look at a few other photos that we can kind of make some edits or some changes to uh, going back to the viewer here let's say we had a picture here and let's say I wanted to make my head just like extra large or something like that go over here to the bloat I'm gonna pull back so my selecting tool can be large enough It's crazy to see just how much you can enlarge these different images. And saying you had original, you had what it is now. And you can make these like cartoony looking photos. I think it's kind of interesting, kind of neat to play around with it to see what you can do. Um, trying to find like, uh, like use case scenarios where it's like oh yeah this is definitely where I would use this specific liquify tool it's kind of hard to think about but it's always good to have this kind of in your back pocket if you're ever like I don't know how to make this photo look unique or special or uh, how to make something look different than the other photos I've been taking maybe just messing around in here could make something uh, that's just a normal photo you know something that could be a bit more creative or a bit more interesting so you guys that is the liquify tool the one other thing I would leave with you guys is there's the reconstruct tool which is where you're able to just go over a certain area and you're able to get it back to what it was originally so you guys thank you so much for watching this video feel free to leave a like and a comment down below about any other tools that you would like me to show you more of and if there's any other questions about the liquify tool in Photoscape X thank you guys so much have a great day. Bye.